Hello lovely people, good morning. It is Christmas Eve Eve and I don't know if I'm the only person that calls the 23rd of December Christmas Eve Eve but I love to call it that. Today I have a very exciting video for me because it's all our baby buys that we've bought so far and these are things that we bought with our either our own money or things that we've used a voucher for um, very kindly from friends and family. I am so hot by the way and so breathless even though it's December and I'm only wearing like two layers it is sweltering in this house thanks to my lovely little bump apologies for the junk we are in the process of moving and packing stuff up and these are all the boxes from the Amazon things we've got delivered that we need to get out of this room apologies for the setup I hope that you like this video and I'm going to get stuck in with some things that we bought in Black Friday these are all things for newborns largely except for a few other things that were in the sale that I thought would just make sense to buy quickly. Because as you know, I live in Cyprus and my husband lives here in the UK. So um, yeah, there's a lot of back and forth and a lot of oh messing around with things. So I'll just get straight into it. I've got this big bag here and a load of stuff down here. So hopefully I can do this in less than 10 minutes. I got these baby grows. If you know me, I actually hate foxes, but I'm not trying to impose that on my child, <laughs> um, my little boy that I know I'm having. So yeah, these these are some baby grows that I got. They're Amazon own brand, I think. Simple, simple joys made by Carters, but they're the Amazon clothing in the clothing section. I'm sorry if the lighting goes weird as well. I've tried to get some light from above and sit by the the sun. Maybe I'll sort that out. I don't know. Can you see me okay? Got this one, it's a three to six months. And this one as well, it's just three to six months. And what's really good about them is that they have one popper at the top and they zip all the way down. So you can get to do those nighttime changes. And I know in America they use these a lot, the zip ones. All the mother um, newborn videos I've watched, it's all been zipped baby grows, sleep suits they call them in the US. So yeah, I found these online and thought I would pick up some in three to six months and in the newborns zero to three as well. So I've got a couple. Some other things that I bought. Right, there's a bit of a story behind this one. So um, my friend told me about the brand Aiden and Ane, I think that's how you say it. Aiden and Ane or Aiden and I. So, um, I heard really good things about them and heard that they're really soft and good quality the products, that they've lost multiple children for her, but she said they're really expensive. So that's why when I saw this product on Black Friday, which I'll actually open because I need to wash it all anyway. When I saw this on Black Friday, I thought, okay, I'm getting this straight away. So these are sleeping bags, um, cozy sleeping bags, and they're so soft. They're like... I guess they're cotton, yeah, 100% cotton muslin shell, and yeah, they're amazing. So they're from 6 to 12 months, and there's one sleeping bag. I tried to get unisex ones, and I loved dinosaurs as a child, even as a girl, so I got this just in case I had a girl, and it turns out I'm having a boy, so it's perfect. I got this, like, mint green colour as well, with stars on, and I think they were actually quite expensive, um, full price. But with the Black Friday discount on Amazon, it wasn't too bad. So I've got two of these. So our plan is to swaddle at the beginning. And then when they get fed up of sw swaddling, take their arms out of the swaddle and just have it around their chest. And then once they get a bit bigger, too big for the swaddle size, we'll move on to these. So I think two's enough. While one's in the wash, the other can be used. I've got some breastfeeding things in here as well. It's just a bit of everything, really. I actually played with this this morning and I know you, you kind of shouldn't when in your third trimester because any sort of nipple stimulation can bring on labour and that's something we don't want at this stage. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. Oh. Hot flashes, man. I guess this is a taste of menopause. So, I got this. This is the Hacker Pump. You've probably heard about it if you are um, if you watch a lot of mum YouTubers and um, newborn things. So, this Hacker breast pump, it's kind of like a let down collector so while you're feeding on one side you put this on your other breast and it catches what's left well the beginning of what's coming from the, the stimulation of your baby on the other side 
So I'll show you, kind of show you how to use it because I didn't really understand. So you kind of flick it back like this and squeeze, squeeze at the bottom and then your nipple goes in there, you push your nipple in there and the suction is actually quite a bit. So you just put it on like this and then it just sucks onto your boob. And you just leave it there, don't touch it and it stays there and your baby will feed on the other and it will catch um, maybe an ounce, some people have said. And add one ounce to two ounces and then you can build up a supply from just that and then when your baby's hungry feed them on the other side and just keep doing that. I'm kind of disappointed it didn't have a lid but it has got suction on the bottom so it won't fall over, like you just push it down and then it stays stuck on the surface next to you which is handy I think. So yeah, this was like 20 quid, not bad at all. Right, so I will move on now to all of this, these lovely baby goodies I've got down here. I know this is not gonna be 10 minutes, I tried. From reading and look, watching other videos, I found out that babies can only see black and white and distinguish between dark and light colors um, at the very beginning. So I picked up this book for Bubba and it's got like really distinct like colours and faces and shapes that they can see and a nice mirror at the back as well so baby can see themselves and I just thought it's a nice first book for them so I picked up lots of different black and white toys and black and white things those are things that I'll be taking to Cyprus with me I won't bother with the other lovely books and things that people have bought us because I might, I might take a couple storybooks to read to them but I just know that they won't probably enjoy it in those first few weeks so I got a set of these, I got a set of four, and these are just soft books, similar kind of thing, all very, very, very cheap. I love how cheap some of the baby stuff compared to like the bigger things like the breast pumps and the cot and all that stuff, it really helps that these things are really cheap and affordable, so yeah, it's got like a little squeezy thing, and whenever I do this, baby kicks like crazy, so there must be something good with these. I'm just going to pick random things, we've got some pacifiers or some dummies as we call them here. So every newborn baby I see has these like funny shaped ones that are meant to look like, feel like a nipple I think and not cause any confusion. And you can put like a dummy clip as well on it, which I've got. So I bought maybe two different types of dummies because you don't know what ones they're gonna like. And I got one free with boots. I got one free man one, free with boots on this um, parenting app that they had. And I got these other dummies, these. They're so cute. I haven't opened them yet. I think I'm just gonna leave it till when I go back to Cyprus. But, so baby can decide which ones he likes and I'll just stock up on whatever one he prefers. So I got these, I can't wait to meet him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so this is for the nursery, but at the moment my bedroom in Cyprus. So it's like a, an organizer, I don't know if you can see it. So from watching, I think, Emily Norris's video, I saw that, I think it was Emily Norris, you can put outfits in each one of these, like little compartments and hang it on your door. So it's really easy to grab clothes and change them and, and if you need to do anything in the middle of the night, it's really easy. So they're actually meant for shoes, to put shoes in, but you can use it for clothes. So baby clothes fit nicely and snugly into them. So. That's the plan for this. Some washcloths, these are like bamboo washcloths. I haven't opened them, so let's feel them. I'm probably just going to take three to Cyprus. Oh, they're so soft. I wanna use it. But yeah, I'll probably take maybe three. So I, again, going with the black and white thing that I know about with babies, I got these cards and they're black and white little discs that have color on the other side for when they get older. But you can just put them in front of them and, I don't know, stimulate them a little bit and show them different shapes. And these ones have colours on the back from when they're older. And you can just ask them what they are because they're, thing they're objects, um, usually. So, like, there's a boat on this side. So, when they're a bit older, you can ask them. And this was only a few pounds as well. So, they're good for baby development and the high contrast in colours is really good for them. So, I got those and some pacifier clips, so dummy clips. Clip This side clips onto their clothes and then the other side goes through the dummy. So it stays on and they don't lose it. Really handy. Oh, it's actually from um, a small business in Wimbledon. So supporting small businesses, here we are. For the car, I got this baby car mirror. 
so we can keep an eye on little man when we're driving it's gonna be really handy for me in cyprus if i go anywhere on my own or i take baby to lectures <laughs> it shows here how it clips onto the back of the headrest hopefully my lease car has a headrest i don't actually know if that's the case but we're gonna hope and pray i've got this play mat it's like a travel size one I'll open it because there's no way I can carry it in this box all the way to Cyprus. We're in, I think. Use that strength, Zara. It's this size, which is big enough for them to lay on, I think, comfortably. It has a little pillow that is, again, black and white, so really handy for them to be able to see properly and see the different contrast and some hanging, hanging monkey and just some little play things really and has kindly given me the um pump part the electric part of her breast pump so i had to pick up this which is the handheld part the the actual pump part I, i'm not articulating well today which is not uncommon for me now being pregnant but what's it called the manual part of the pump anyway the bit that goes on my nipple she, she obviously kept hers and I've got one for myself and um, I've got a tube coming as well to connect it so yeah it's really handy when you have friends that have had babies and hopefully I can pass on my stuff to friends that are coming with their children so this will be easy and quick to use I think to make sure that baby has a milk supply for when I am on placements coming to the end in Cyprus I do not have a uh, bath which is a real pain um i've just got a shower so i'll be using the sink to bath baby and i picked up this bath lotus and look how good it looks it look i felt it and it's like plush i'm not sure how it doesn't get moldy i was saying this to lynn i don't know how i'm a bit of a mold stickler well it says that it's perfect for six months and it becomes a cushion at the bottom of your bath at the end it fits most sinks in bigger sinks two petals are raised and two lay flat so yeah i'm gonna give this a go again i'll have to open it to fit it in the suitcase zero to six months this will be really handy i think we'll give it a go and see so in this bag we have more of those amazon baby grows but a bit smaller and cuter for my newborn look at that so tiny again with the zip um those are on sale i got some dummy again it's like a dummy clip but it goes like on the side of the push chair or the car seat it's like a pacifier case so that you don't lose it it doesn't drop on the floor and that kind of stuff got some more aiden and Ana muslins they're so soft oh my gosh um compared to the supermarket ones they are so soft they're like on a different level i really think you get what you pay for with these so just buy them in the sale boxing day black friday whatever just make sure you get them you won't be disappointed. I got a maternity kit for me. Um, this might reappear in my hospital bag, but I'll just show it here because I have it in my hand. It's got some breastfeeding oils, two flannels, some perineum spray, and a massage oil for perineal massage before you give birth. So I'll probably talk about that in a separate video. This is meant to be baby focused, not to mama focused. I've got an endless supply of nappies literally size one we stocked up because they're so expensive in cyprus the price difference is insane so taking loads of those with me to cyprus and some more muslims some birth cloths so these are the ones that are shaped like this they literally just go over your shoulder they're not like the um let me just open it they're not like the long cloths that you get so again these are actually quite soft and they're amazon Crap. Oh. just got a glimpse of all the nappies we've got i was talking about these burp cloths they're so 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 soft they're the brand comfy cubs that's beautiful 100 percent cotton weren't too expensive pack of six i think for 12 pounds yeah so that's it for the video thank you so much for watching i hope it was helpful seeing all the things that i bought uh, we were so blessed from our friends and family um, i'll link everything down below as i said and any questions just let me know and anything you think i've missed let me know as well
Um, as I said, we, we did get a lot from our baby showers, so it might even be 2020 that this video goes up. We'll see. But that's crazy. 2020. Almost ready to meet my boy. Have a lovely day, whatever you guys are doing, and I will check in with you soon. Bye.